Hello. Um, I came home from a good, a great church service. Um, uh, one I felt uh, so filled with love and so filled with the spirit on this Pentecost Sunday, uh, uh, um, uh, 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 talking about the spirit, about the Holy Spirit. I. I almost yell, yelled hallelujah in the middle, then I had to remind myself that I'm a Presbyterian. Um, but, and then I, because uh, 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 I work retail, I have to work a couple Sundays, but I, uh, a month, and I, I went to work, and just, I, I, but I felt the Spirit all through the day. Christ was in my heart, in my soul, and in my mind. And uh, then I listened to a podcast on my way home uh, by Mosaic, uh, Owen McManus. Uh, and then I got home and I said, I'm going to check my email. And I said, on, on yahoo.com uh, today um, that an abortion uh, doctor, uh, Dr. George Tiller, uh, was killed, gunned down in church in Can Wichita, Kansas. And it's like all of a sudden, all the joy all the love that God has given me, all the spirit that I had, it was like, it was kind of like, oh no. No, I'm not saying, I don't, I don't like abortion. I, I believe that it is a sin on the great, uh, 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 great magnitude. I believe it's, um, destroying a life because it's inconvenient. But I all but uh, but I also believe but I also believe that, um, uh, uh, that uh, unfortunately there's a lot. It, it it the sad thing is in most issues of morality it's not black or white it's gray. Um, uh, I mean a lot of like especially uh, uh, among um, like women of of poverty uh, who worry can I feed this. Uh, 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 can I take care of things like that? But yes, uh, adoption and, and things like that. Um, and and, and it, it, it strikes right at your soul because you, 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 we're empathic, empathic creatures. I mean, I'm not like a, a person like, oh, she got knocked up, that slut. I mean, we're Christians, we can't think that way. I mean, we do, but that's the sinful human nature thinking that way. But I mean, just saying like we pray for her and pray that she makes the right choice. Because uh, there's a lot of people who want children and to adopt, but then there's also like rape and uh, cases of rape and incest. I mean, personally, I, be uh, I believe the only exceptions uh, is in the case of the, uh, it's more likely that the uh, mother will die and the baby will probably die as well. Um, but you may hate abortion. You, it, 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 like me, believe it's a sin, believe it's murder. But some of the th things I've been reading, like there's a YouTube uh, video, and some of the things like good riddance, and and it seemed like one of the main concerns was that this will create a martyr for the uh, pro-choice movement. I personally think it's. <sighs> It might do that, but my concern is, what does it say about Christianity? He was gunned down in a church. You may say that he shouldn't have been in the church in the first place because he's committing the sin of abortion. Um, but that's for God to judge, not us. Um... And I'm concerned about not just the abortion issue, take the abortion issue out, what it will make Christianity look like. Um, especially if this guy is a devout Christian and believes he's doing this because he's doing the will of God. Christianity has a, a, a lot of black eyes right now. Uh, Fred Phelps, please, his name is Fred, uh, the Westboro Baptist church guy, 
um, and um, of course the pastors who um, like financial scandals, sex scandals, etc. And we don't need this. We don't need this. I mean, and the thing is, I mean, I, who knows, he might have, he might have realized what he was doing was wrong. He might have had a change of heart. He might have opened up his eyes and, and like realized, what am I doing with my life? I'm coming to church every week, but I'm still broken. He'll never have that chance. He'll never have that chance. And so anyone who says good riddance or the baby killer got what he deserved, if your first thought are those thoughts, maybe it's not his soul you should be looking at. Maybe it's your soul. I believe this is, I hate to say this is a litmus test of, of, of Christian love. And while I believe abortion is a sign of a broken world, a sign that he was killed in church is just another sign of a broken world in a book in Christianity. Now I'm wondering if, if he does, if he does turn out to be a devout Christian, if, if there were people who are on the fence, who are um, like basically seeking, seeking and, 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 and like coming to Jesus and, and seeing this and think, that's Christianity? I mean, I don't know where I stand on the abortion issue, but this guy was murdered? And so I, I beg of you to pray for Dr. George Tiller's family. Pray for Dr. George Tiller's soul. Pray for the killer. And pray for the state of this nation. Pray for the state of Christianity. And I know that the, the radical anti-abortionists are a minority. I know that. Um, just like the radical Fred Phelps anti-homosexual uh, section is a minority. But... Please look after his family. Look after the man who killed him. Look after the parishioners of that church. And look after us. Bless us, keep us strong, keep us on the straight and narrow path, keep us looking toward what would you do? What would you want us to do? Not what maybe our minds, our prejudices, our hatreds, our fears, our angers want us to do, but what you would want to do. When you walked the earth, Jesus, you were the perfect man. You were tempted, but you never sinned. Let the Holy Spirit help us walk in your walk and act as you would act. In Jesus' name I pray, amen.